Hello everyone, it's Phil Jones and joining me is Cam Valentine. And today we're going to be talking about gaming on projectors. And in this series, sponsored by BenQ, we're going to be exploring great games to play back on a projector. So Cam, what game are we talking about today? Today we're talking about Horizon Forbidden West. Horizon Forbidden West. So can you give me a little bit of a recap or an overview of what the game is? Okay, so Horizon Forbidden West, it's a post-apocalyptic world that is dying off and it's covered in this red plant growth called blight and it's starving out the world. And the character, the main character who you play as is Alloy and it's her job to try to save the world. What game systems is this game available on? It's a Sony exclusive. So it's only available on um, Sony PlayStations? And Correct. that's it. Okay, so um, what projector did you choose to utilize for this particular review? For this game, utilize the BenQ X3000i gaming projector. So why did you pick that projector? They designed this one with special features that makes open world gaming a better, more immersive experience. So this is actually kind of BenQ's flagship projector, right? Absolutely. It's flagship gaming projector. Gaming projector. Correct. So what are some features about this projector that kind of make it the, the step up when it comes to gaming projectors if you compare it to other brands and other models? So the X3000i has three game modes. It has first person shooter, FPS, has role playing game mode, and it has sports game mode. So you can play like soccer games like FIFA or MLB games. It helps bring out the brightness of turf in those sports games. Uh, the uniforms look better and brighter. Mm -hmm. And it also has uh, sound modes that are attuned for each of those game modes. Are there any other features about this projector? What about color? Um, um, this, this projector, does it have a lamp, a laser? What is it, what, what's the light source? This one's a four LED and it has 100% coverage of DCI-P3. Okay, so really, really vivid, vivid colors. And like most BenQs that we've tested, um, the, the color accuracy is pretty good, right? Yes, it's spot on. Okay, so can you give me some examples of some game, some, some parts of the game where um, having that better color and the higher brightness really kind of um, stood out? Yeah, so one of the first main encounters that you get into in Horizon Forbidden West is, so it, it's, a, it's a boss fight. So mm -hmm. it's after they, they kind of hand walk you through the game, the mm -hmm. mechanics of the game, how to utilize your character, and then once they kind of bring you through that tutorial, mm -hmm. at the end of that, you got to face off against a Slitherfang. Slitherfang is a huge machine that's shaped like a snake. So it's mm -hmm. a snake machine that's coming after you. The brightness and the color accuracy of this is helpful because when you use Alloy's Focus, which is what she uses to focus in, it scans her target. It can pick out the weak parts of the enemy out and those parts are in different colors. Mm -hmm. So you know what you need to attack, uh, what's a hard point, like don't bother wasting your time, and then with the color accuracy, the, the slither thing lit up like a Christmas tree, I could see every spot that I needed to hit, mm -hmm. and then that also made it easier because it was on a big screen. So in between the big screen, the great color, and the brightness, it was easy for me to use alloy to snipe out those different components on the slither fan. Yeah. So this shows that when it comes to a gaming projector, there's more to be concerned with than just low lag, right? Absolutely. So what's the lag on this one? I'm not sure if I can't remember you told me what that was. 16.67 milliseconds, 4K at 60. At 60. Yes. And, um, and it can also do like H, um, HD at uh, 120 and, and things like that. Yes, right? yes okay. it can. And um, so, so pretty fast. Um, maybe not as fast as the most hardcore gaming monitor, but for first person shooter or um, more of the casual role um, game playing, sitting on your couch is probably pretty responsive, right? Correct. Okay, so um, any other things about the game? Any other scenes that really stood out when you were playing the game that really popped on the projector compared to, because you have a gaming PC. Yes. Um, so, <laughs> so compared to playing it on a gaming PC, to this, is there any other things that really stood out, like scenes and stuff that really stood out that made it better playing on this projector? It's for, so for Horizon Forbidden West, for those of you who have never played it, it's a beautiful game. It's 
with the open world, almost everything is climbable. You can climb up walls, you can climb up buildings, you can swing from things, you can tightrope walk from one rock over a river to another one. So having this on a huge projector screen is awesome because you get to take everything in and it really feels like you're in the game. Yeah, so it's almost like a giant interactive movie that yes. you get to control, that you get to control. Speaking of a giant interactive movie, um, uh, like this is more of a one person experience, right? Yes. But did you find the rest of your family kind of hanging out behind you or sitting on the couch behind you kind of watching it almost like it's a movie? Absolutely, they watched it just like you said, like it's a movie and now it's an interactive movie because I'm sitting there playing the game and I'm going through the motions as they're watching everybody moving and ducking and because things are coming at you and mm -hmm. it's, it's quite a, quite the immersive experience. Okay, so when you mentioned about the projector, you said it has upgraded sound, you know, like different sound modes yes. for, for different games. Um, anything about the game when it came to sounds that really stood out? Yes, yeah, so all the machines make little, little sounds like the burrs make this little clicking sound. Mm -hmm. And with this projector in particular, it has two five volt speakers and it has, it's tuned by Bon Jovi DPS technology, which means this can actually do 3D sound virtually. Mm -hmm. So it actually does a, a pretty good job at making it sound like more of the sound is surrounding you, which makes it seem like you're even more immersed into the game because mm -hmm. now it sounds like sounds all around you. You got the big screen in front of you. It feels like you're walking around inside Horizon Forbidden West. Yeah. So a lot of the stuff that you see on the BenQ um, was developed for their um, different types of BenQ gaming monitors, um, Zowies and things like that. So all these picture modes and sound modes and all of that stuff. It's stuff that they've actually learned from actually making gaming monitors. So if they make, so of course they have a different perspective about what is a great gaming experience besides low, besides low lag. Yes. Now the other thing, you mentioned color, you mentioned, um, and, and the brightness is what, you said it's about 3,000 ANSI lumens? 3,000 ANSI lumens. Okay, so it's 3,000 ANSI lumens, it's got 100% DCI-P3. Yeah. When I hear those two things, the thing that comes to first to mind is, is HDR. Um, the game, because it's a PlayStation game, it's probably available in HDR too, right? Yes, 4K HDR, and it looks beautiful. Like, BitQ makes a bunch of different projectors. Yes. One, the ones for movies, ones for gaming. And when we talk about HDR, a lot of times we think about that for, for, for movies. Any of that m cool movie um, HDR processing available in this projector? Oh yes, they didn't leave that out. You can use this for gaming, and then later on that night, you could switch it over to cinema mode and put into HDR 10 and watch yourself a nice HDR movie. We're talking about the projector and how cool it is to play a game. You're getting ready to do a review on this projector as well, right? That review is coming soon? Yes, that review is in the works. Okay, so if you want to learn more about the projector as well as maybe explore more of the features, whether they're gaming based or movie based, check out projector reviews uh, and Cam's review of the X3000i. So, so Cam, thank you for coming and talking about um, Horizon Forbidden West. So over the next several months, we're going to be looking at other games that have been recommended by BenQ that they believe look great on a projector. So Cam, what's the next game you're going to be covering? Coming up next will be Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. So I'm <laughs> kind of curious about, about that one as well. Check out the article on projector reviews that goes into a little bit more detail about the gaming experience of playing Horizon Forbidden West on the BenQ X3000i. And hopefully, check out the rest of our videos along the way as we explore more games um, during this year. So take care, and we'll talk to you soon.